Welcome to another bite-sized training tape for football officials. We're going to have to have a look at the line judge, the wing official closest to the camera. Uh, you'll notice it's first and 10, second and 10. Uh, it stays on the line of scrimmage here, which is good. Uh, and then now he starts trailing the play, which is also very good. Um, play ends up with a first down, looks across. Stops the clock, which is very good. So he's got all that uh, under control. Now, he's doing this signal here to indicate as a helping signal to the referee and, and the, the, uh, the possibly the linesman uh, across the field that the play um, crossed the line to gain. This is enough for first down. So he's got this little, his right arm indicating that this is a first down. Now, my personal preference is that this signal should be um, very discreet, very small uh, in front of your chest so that the referee can see it, but preferably um, the sideline behind you shouldn't be able to pick it up uh, if at all possible, because we don't want this to be a big signal just in case uh, we need to stop and do something and, and then we don't have a first down anyway. So try to make this signal as discreet as possible. Another thing is I, I sometimes see wing officials, when they're doing this signal, they look back at the referee to see if he is actually uh, noticing that he see my signal. I need to make sure that he saw my signal. And that is a mistake. Make sure that you keep your eyes on the players, that you do your dead ball officiating. This is one of many, many signals that you can do uh, without looking at, at anybody uh, on the crew. Uh, you know, the people who need to see this can, can pick up the signal even though you are looking at players and, uh, and, and making sure that you do your dead ball officiating. And that was it for this edition of the Bite Size Training Tape. So as always, thank you for watching.